Can you please raise your hand if you have a question, please? We'll start right here with Bill. Braxton, you obviously know the history of playing here, not so pretty for Ohio State. What did you guys do to make sure that that was not going to be an issue? You know, we talked about that all week, all week long. You know, it wasn't going to be a good environment. You know, you just got to get, get a good mindset for it. You know, got to get your own energy. You know, we, uh, we got to keep each other going. How important was it to get off to that start? You know, it was an early uh, morning. You know, uh, you know, got to get up early. Got to get prepared. Got to eat well. You know, got to hydrate. And, you know, just got to keep the guys going. Like, coaches talk to us, you know, get us hype. Right here, Tim. Braxton, talk about Jeff Hireman. Uh, you know, he was wide open a lot. Did y'all see that going in? And just uh, what was it like seeing him wide open and having a game like that? You got to reward big guys like that all the time. You know, uh, you know, he, he do a hell of a job blocking for the running backs and me as well. And, um, you know, it was, um, it, was a, it was a perfect defense for to, for Jeff, you know, yeah. to get open like that. Did, did y'all see that on video, that there was a possibility there? Yeah. yeah. Yep. What you showed know, up most? I mean, this is how they play too high, and they just forget about the uh, tight end yeah. a few times. Awesome. Well, Braxton, given what happened two years ago when you were here, and then last year when you get knocked out with injury, the one hole maybe on your resume was not Yeah, good right. Uh, two years ago, no, freshman year, it was a hard-fought game, and uh, – it was a crazy ending how they blocked the, the field goal and last year it was just crazy how I got knocked out, you know, uh, uh, collarbone and things like that. But you know, come back next year stronger and with a chip on your shoulder, you be better. Was that something that you wanted to make sure that you addressed? Just yeah, absolutely. For yourself? Yeah, this one, you know, it's just self comfort. You know, it's just how things went for the last few years with this team. We're gonna lift up. What, hey, Braxton, uh, the interception. What did you see there? But you look like oh, yeah. you didn't let that get to you. you nah, got, you know. I hit it in practice a few times. It was just a uh, just a cover two hole, and uh, the, the the corner actually got too much depth. He, he made a good play on it. So uh, you know, I really didn't get down on myself about that. Cause what do you think of Harmon as a hurdle? Oh man, <laughs> I have no. I, I mean, I'll tell that guy to stop doing that, man. He's too big for, for doing that. Right here, Dan. You know, it's just preparation on Sundays and Mondays. You know, coming there on your off time and uh, figure out what type of defense they run and how they how they like to play third down. You know, big third down is, is a big in the game too. So, we're on left, Obi. Uh, oh, so uh, uh, hey, Braxton, I was uh, looking at that play with uh, you and Philly Brown. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that was looked like a lot of eye communication. Is that a sign that you guys are just starting to feel each other and understand each other? What, talk a little bit about that. You know, when Philly, Philly is a different guy on the field. You know, uh, he knows the game well. And if you get that connection with, some, with somebody on the, on the field, it becomes easy. And, you know, he just, he's just fine hoes. He, just, he makes himself available when, I, when the time's needed. That pitch? Yeah. What about that pitch? That looked like a, a Stockton to Malone or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I have no idea. You know, I just seen a contained guy trying to shake him, make him get out the way a little bit. And uh, once you know, Philly was right there, so I just, just flicked it to him. All right, Braxton, thank you. Coach is on his way up.